offering them both the best. Mm -hmm. wow. It is uh, 11 17. Matt Wentz here. I heard you say frost, but I'm trying to tell myself I really didn't hear him say. <laughs> no, our, our plants might need a little blanket Wednesday yeah, night. You're absolutely right. Okay. Yeah, not tonight, tomorrow night. Okay. Um, and I, I think, you know, tomato plants, you get those in the ground, any annuals you might have, just keep them covered up because, uh, I mean, it, guys, this is cold even for this yeah. time of year. It yeah, happens, sure. but uh, we haven't had it in the last couple of weeks. So uh, here we go. Let's get into the forecast, shall we? Tomorrow morning, beautiful. We've got that cold front that went by tonight. Uh, still moving its way down towards the south. So tomorrow morning, you'll notice it will be in the 40s tomorrow morning. The thing about tomorrow is that we just don't recover. We're going to head into the upper 50s in the afternoon. Lots of sunshine, though. Remember, I say it all the time. If you get into the sun this time of year, it feels 10 degrees warmer than that air temperature. So it's going to be feeling more like the upper 60s tomorrow if you're in the sun. That's not too bad, especially for all those that work outdoors. You can see temperatures here this evening. 60s and 50s will all fall back into the upper 40s tonight. That wind is shifting. It's been out of the west all day. Here's your frontal boundary with the wind shifting out of the north. Tomorrow we'll have a north northeast breeze and it will be pretty breezy at times, bringing in that drier air from the north. We had some showers in our southern counties as expected earlier. That is now long gone. We were watching this earlier. The clouds that were coming across the lake. Notice how they kind of curve off towards the north. All of that is due to wildfires way back towards British Columbia and Alberta. The fires and the smoke from the fires gets lofted in the atmosphere and it kind of curls along the jet stream. So the clouds that are moving through northeast Ohio right now, I know it's dark, you can't see them, but they're mixed with atmospheric smoke. You can't smell it. It's just all elevated aloft, but all off of fires in western Canada. Pretty incredible. The big thing that you'll feel, though, is that cold air. You see it continues to sink out of the Hudson Bay region. That will be with us tomorrow and then again tomorrow night. So let's jump into it. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. North breeze tomorrow morning. We're in the 40s. We'll recover a little bit. We're up near 60 in Akron by noon. But we don't go much up from there. <laughs> Look at that. We're staying near 60 in Akron, Mansfield around 60 degrees. And then we start to cool down. Here we go. Midnight tomorrow night. We're already in the 40s. May have some upper 30s in spots. Here are your low temperatures expected waking up Thursday morning. Widespread 30s. National Weather Service will likely issue a frost advisory. I would not be surprised if it covers all of Northeast Ohio. Exception would be your immediate lakeshore. So plan for frost tomorrow night into Thursday morning. We'll bounce back quickly. We're into the 60s and near 70 degrees. That's what happens this time here. You get these cool mornings in the city and at Hopkins we're predicting 40, but again, 30s for many of you waking up Thursday morning and then it's like nothing happened. We're back into the 50s for lows after that. And then we have to talk rainfall chances. Here's your big old Canadian high pressure. We've been tracking for a week and a half. It'll finally sink in and then we're off to the races in terms of temperatures. Friday we're pushing 80 degrees and we're watching some rain move in. We need the rainfall. All right, it's been dry this week and we're going to go a little bit drier after this. So we need to squeeze out every drop of this system that we can. Isolated showers and thunderstorms will likely become scattered as we get into Friday afternoon. Here comes your front. Timing of it right now looks to be Friday night into early Saturday. And then we'll clear things out late in the day Saturday. And Sunday for the marathon, looking perfect for runners. We'll have just crystal clear skies and I think low humidity. You notice our surplus of rain on the year is starting to dwindle. Mm -hmm. Union Home Mortgage 10 day forecast. There's your bump in temps Friday. Beautiful weekend out ahead of that morning Saturday rain that we have. And then we're dealing with sunshine and a big warm up leading up to Memorial Day.